MTD CNC Global are with Neil Stewart here at DMG Mori uh, in the UK in Coventry. One of the machines we're going to be looking at here uh, is about automation. Now, this is a DMP70, Neil. Yep. I've just had a look in here. I cannot believe how fast this machine moves. Tell us about the speeds and the dynamics. Okay, well, the um, RPM on the B axis is 100 RPM. On the A axis, it's 50 RPM. Um, on, on, all the, on the linear axis, it's 60 meters per minute, uh, which, and also it pulls one and a half G. I was going to say, that's the critical point, isn't it? That acceleration, because it's quite a small sort of working area and getting from point to point is obviously the, the key. Well, it's, it's very high processing. So what it will do is it will chew data very quickly and the reaction time is very quick um, with positional or simultaneous. Uh, now you've got a BB or a big plus BT30 on here. So, and your machine in titanium. So that's illustrating that the machine, even though it's that 30 taper, it's still got a lot of strength and rigidity. Yeah, well, when you, if, you, if you look at uh, the machine, you can see uh, with the, the way the tool change is developed, um, say 15 or 26 tools, we've put a lot of work into the spindle itself. Uh, our competitors also have a very similar machine, but not to this strength at all. So we can machine any materials on there, or most materials, titaniums, exotic materials, aluminium steels, but we can do it, as long as it's light, we can do it very quickly. Now we've got this automation system here, which is a DMG Mori product. Does the machine have to come with one of these, or can you have the machine as a standalone five axis? No, the machine comes with, the majority of machines we sell are standalone, but we can have either the WH3, we can put pallet systems on there too, but also, when you look at the machine, the machine can have the automation fitted from the right or the left. On this particular case, it's on the right, but we could fit it on the left if you wanted to as well. Uh, how sophisticated is the automation here? You've got vision systems in there as well, haven't you? You've got a stacking system. Um, th there's a lot that's gone into this. Yeah, sophisticated, but very simple. So, as you can see, we've got five drawers at the front and five, five drawers at the back. So, the operator can load the, draw the drawers in while the machine's running. Then they get loaded to the top as, as it progresses through the workpieces. But then the robot, if, if the operator puts a part in the wrong way round, the, the robot will pick the part up, it'll check to see the orientation is correct. If it is correct, it'll carry on the machine. If it's the wrong way round, it'll drop it off into the chute where the operator can put it back in the correct way. So this compared to your other five axis machines does fit into a slightly, uh, into more niche industries, doesn't it? And to me, I know some of your 60 Evo linears are incredibly quick, but when I look at this thing, it, 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 is it one of the fastest you've got? Yeah, I'd say it was, yeah, for a very small machine as well. Um, but it does, it lends itself again to, say, to the medical industry, to most industries that have got mass production and want a very fast turnaround and also with accuracy.